All right, so I'll continue. So I got cut off. So I'll continue. So somebody may see, like they're driving by or whatever it is, and they see you. Now that person, even if they do genuinely hate you, they see you, they hate you, maybe you remind them of somebody, whatever the case is, they may hate you. Now, they don't feel like they have the place to bring that to you. You know what I mean? They're not able to actually bring what they feel to you, right? Which can turn into a unstable psychological state of obsession. The fact that every time they hate you, they try to get to you and they're unable to do that. It creates an obsession in the, in the psychological mind and instability, right? The reason is that socially, you haven't done anything wrong. You didn't, you didn't incite any hate. You were riding your bicycle, which is a basic right that anybody has. And you didn't instigate or incite any hate. That causes a psychological instability in the person's head and an obsessive behavior. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, that is, what it is. <laughs> that is what it is. So I, that's what I want to talk about. The thing is that when, with that sort of hate, they can't really bring it to you. But it exists. So I thought, look, if there's any chance of this existing, I would love to address it in the first part. The second part was about levels and caliber. Let's, 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 let's wrap it up. If anything, we'll come back to, but let's go into level and caliber. So when we're talking about levels and caliber, you see, in this world, we have a society that's based on the present. You know, what's going on right now? Who's who right now? What, what is the now right now? The past is definitely significant, but what's going on right now? Now, for example, let's say somebody totally treats me unfairly, okay? Let's say I'm, I'm, I'm at a job and I'm cooking and I'm very good at cooking, like I'm very good. And there's another guy that's also very good at cooking. Now, look what they do. They go, um, okay, so, so the guy go, the guy that, that, that you know, that, that's her manager, let's say. He goes, he puts me on dishwashing, like which is a dishwashing, uh, uh, dishwasher. Let's say, let's say the dishwasher didn't show up or the dishwasher is lousy or they can't get a dishwasher. He keeps putting me on dishwashing. Now, he doesn't put the other guy on dishwashing or puts him on dishwashing just rarely, once in a while, here and there. And, and primarily puts me on dishwashing. Now, how does that make me feel? And what does that, what does, what goes on in my head? So I think to myself, first of all, I go, is this guy mentally okay in his head? Is he stable? And is he mentally well? Because can he recognize the fact, because he's in a business right now, can he recognize the fact that I am miles ahead of, and, and way better than this other guy at cooking? And that if anything, only benefit comes out of putting me on because if you put me on, your business does better. And that affects your pocket, not just money-wise, but people will give you more dignity based on the fact that you're running a better business. My mind starts exploring. It says, what could it be? Now, I look better than the guy. I talk better than the guy. I'm smarter than the guy. I have a better personality than the guy. I'm a better worker than the guy. So what really is the issue here? Now, let's say I'm not even able to address the issue, right? Let's say either I continue to do what the routine is or I leave the job for another job or, or whatever the case is, right? Something took place systemically there. You, okay, look, check it out. Something genuinely took place there. I, 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 during that time, in that place, something took place systemically. Tomorrow, that same person might have a lot of love or respect. Let's say, let's say it's their wife. They love their wife. Tomorrow, their wife, his wife goes to work. And his wife, his wife is very good and all that stuff. You know what they do? Let's say she's an accountant. You know what they do? They tell her that she has to be on recording duty. 
Okay, she just has to sit there recording numbers all day. And she gets shit loads of work. She's basically the dishwasher at her work. And this other uh, 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 woman or man is, 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 is not as good as her, has nothing on her. But she's put on that duty. And, and that, that situation systemically, I wouldn't say got resolved, but had a systemic effect in another way. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, um, you have to be in control of your emotions, no matter who you are. You have to be in control of your thoughts and your emotions and things you feel. And you have to have some kind of dignity to understand what you are doing or not doing. You see what I mean? At any level, you have to understand that. That's a big deal. You have to understand that at any level. You know what I mean? That is what it is. That's, that's really, that's all I wanted to talk about. That's it. We got the level and the caliber. You know, when you're genuinely something, it, like, what I don't understand is, is, is how stupid sometimes society, people in society are. You know what I mean? You know somebody is genuinely that person. You know they're at that level. You know they're at that caliber. You know that's who they are. And you know that systemically what's going to happen. And then when it happens to you, you cry and instead of acknowledging your mistake, you cry and say, I, I, I still want this. I want this to happen. I want to, why, why did this happen to me? This gives me more reason to, and then you go on and on and on with your mental instability. Yeah, you know I mean? Um, so we got, we, we wrapped up the hate. I don't think there's anything else for the hate. We all know that sometimes people just don't like you, man. That's the way it is. People like you, don't like me. We know that, but, most of the time, when people are at work or, or they're doing anything educational-wise, anything professional, when people are doing things professional, there's a systemic, there's a system in place. No matter what you're doing, there's a system in place. And, and you know, whatever you do, it, it, when it's genuine, whatever you do, it has an effect. There's always a cause and an effect. You know what I mean? Now I'll tell you another thing. Sometimes there always sometimes there are people who you cannot have a level-headed relationship with. You see, because in their mind they look at you and either they see them as superior, they see superiority, or they see inferiority. This is called an inferior. This is called an inferiority complex. Let's say somebody is of a of a particular nation or race where they feel inferior or they're very self-conscious in their head, which they shouldn't be, but if they are, they are. Now you're here. Now, this person wants this, and they're not willing to settle, and they don't have any reasonable grounds to want this, but they want this. Now, what do you think I'm going to do in that situation? Am I going to go here? Am I going to stay here? Or am I going to do this? Especially if I have the capability to do this. You see, the only thing stopping me from doing this is pretty much just wanting to do things right, wanting to, uh, you know, yeah, you know I mean, just, 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 just do my best. You know what I mean? That's what's stopping me from doing this. But I can do this, so I'm gonna do this, and 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 this is what it's gonna be. You see what I'm saying? And in, in in this in these situations, this is what it turns into. <laughs> All right, um, that's it. I got I got I got nothing else to talk about. That that was my personal stuff. You know what I mean? And I think I explained it well. Good night.